In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to make randomly generated and semi-randomly generated maps inside of GIMP. To start off, I'll show you how to make semi-randomly generated maps. To begin, we'll create a, a two, 2500 by 2500 um, canvas that's filled with white. So, with what I mean by semi-randomly generated maps, so let's say you have an idea for a map. For example, say you wanted to have, say, one island over here, and maybe one island over here, and some small islands over here. Now, this map is great as a concept, and it could be quite interesting for whatever novel or D&D campaign you're working on, working on. But there are a couple of problems with it. For one, it's obviously really rough. Now, one could go in manually and create all the coastlines, but this is very tedious if it's done manually. So to make automatically generated coastlines for a simple map concept like this, what one does is you go to Filters, Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. Gaussian Blur, I might be pronouncing that wrong. And you go 250 pixels, 250 pixels on the horizontal and vertical for your blur. Now it's a good rule of thumb to make your horizontal and vertical blur one-tenth of your total canvas size. This is not a law or anything, but it's a good, good rule to work by and generally will give, in my opinion, the best results. So you press OK and let the um, blur work on the general map sketch we have made. And once that's done, you can see that it's nicely blurred evenly with what's supposedly a radius of 250. And you can see that's around 250. So next, what we need to do is we need to create a new layer Go back and go to layer, new layer, uh, and let's call it land. Actually, let's call this noise and make it 252, 2500 by 2500 and fill it with white. Now, with this layer, we go to filters, render, clouds, difference clouds, and um, you want to set your X size to 16, your Y size to 16, and your detail to 15. If this is low, if any of these are lower, then your uh, coastlines will not have as much detail to them. And you can pick some random seed to give your make your map your your coastlines unique. Press OK, and it's generating the solid noise. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then once you've created this noise layer, you must set the mode to difference. And what this will do is it will create an outline here, oops, I'm sorry, create an outline of what your new coast is going to look like. However, there's a problem here. You can see all this noise here and you want to get rid of this. You only want to see these nice, smooth new coastlines. Now in order to do this, um, we have one problem. Our noise layer and our background layer are separate. Now the way to fix these, this, is that you go to your noise layer and you go to layer, merge, down. Now you can see that there's only two layers in your um, layers window, which is what we want. Next, to remove all this um, noise and only leave our new, more intricate coastline, we go to colors, levels, and go to input levels and you see this little white triangle. Now as you move this, this value down here uh, changes and we want to put this all the way down to maybe around 10. 5 also works. Press OK. And you see that now we have this beautiful map outline. So this little world looks really nice. Um, so that is how to create um, uh, semi-randomly generated maps, because this map, although your coastlines are randomly generated, the general map concept is made by a human. However, say you'd want to make a completely randomly generated map. So 
let's create a completely randomly generated map. In order to do that, let's make a new um, canvas, 2500, 2500, filled with, with uh, white, same as before. And here we go. So it's before we used the noise to create our nice outlines. This time, we're gonna use noise to make the entire map. Now when we do this, we do it slightly differently. Although, sorry, I messed up. Didn't mean to do that. Now, when, you, when we do this, we do it slightly differently. You go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Difference Clouds, just as before. However, the settings we have here need to be slightly altered. If we left this as it is, there's going to be lots of little islands here, and that's not what we want. We want to bring our X size and our Y size down to approximately 2.5 on each, uh, like that, and leave our detail the same. Let that render through. So now we have this nice, much smaller note, noise, that represents our landmass. Now, you, when you look at this, you have to know what all of what this represents. The high points in the map are here. So, for example, the darker it is, is the higher it is, because this is this is essentially a height map, and you want to turn this height map into an actual physical two D, possibly fantasy map. Now, you see these right here. This these areas right here are going to be ocean, probably because they're white, and this is going to be black. So. Essentially, the darker it is, the higher the elevation is. Now we need to define our sea level to figure out uh, where, w which parts of this is going to be land and which parts are not going to be land, because at the moment this is not very clear. To do, to do that, what we do is we go uh, colors, and then instead of going to levels, we go to threshold. And when we go to threshold, voila! You see, it takes this threshold, and you see all these light areas are automatically um, snapped to white, and all of the darker um, areas are snapped to black. So the snapping threshold is defined over here. So the lower our threshold is, the, um, the, the, the higher sea level, you could say. And as we increase this threshold, the lower, you could say, the lower the sea level. So as you move this up, the, the amount of land increases. So this is almost com completely land, and then as you go down, you get lakes that slowly turn into oceans. So for this map, I would say maybe 132 looks pretty good. And I press OK. And that's our map. So I hope that you found this useful. Um, and this is really useful for um, creating fantasy maps, game maps, all sorts of things, maybe ideas for hand-drawn maps. Um, so, you know, the, the options are endless. So, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, and if you have any questions, um, put them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. See you in the next video.